5, verse 385, The Rape of Proserpine. Not far from Henna's walls, there is a deep pool of water, Hercus by name. Od procul eneis lacus est ab moenibus alte, nomine percus aque. Not Caister on its gliding waters hears more songs of swans than does this pool. Non illo plura caistros carmino caignorum labentibus audit in undis. A wood crowns the heights around its waters on every side, and with its foliage, as with an awning, keeps off the sun's hot rays. Silva coronat aquas ingens latus omne suisque frontibus ut velo foibeos sub movet ictus. The branches afford a pleasing coolness, and the well-watered ground bears bright-colored flowers. Frigoradant rami, tirios umas umida flores. Their spring is everlasting. Perpetuum ver est. Within this grove, Proserpina was playing and gathering violets or white lilies. Quodum proserpina luco ludit et aut violas aut candida lilia carpit. And while with girlish eagerness she was filling her basket and her bosom, and striving to surpass her mates in gathering, dumque puellarit studio calatosque sinumque implet et aqueles Gertat superare legendo. Almost in one act did Pluto see and love and carry her away. Paene simul visa est dilectaque raptaque diti. So precipitate was his love. Usque adeo est properatus amor. The terrified girl called plaintively on her mother and her companions, but more often upon her mother. Deterita maesto et metrem et comites, sed metrem saipios. And since she had torn her garment at its upper edge, the flowers which she had gathered fell out of her loosened tunic. Ore clamat et ut summa vestum laniarat ab ora, collecti flores tunicis, que cidere remisis. And such was the innocence of her girlish years. The loss of her flowers, even at such a time, aroused new grief. Tantac Quet simplicitas puer ilibus ad fuit anis, haec quoque virgineum movit iactura dolorem. Her captor sped his chariot and urged on his horses, calling each by name and shaking the dark dyed reins on their necks and manes. Raptor agit curus et nomine quemque vocando exhortator equos, quorum per cola iubasque excutit obscura tinctas ferugine abenas. Through deep lakes he galloped, through the pools of the Paliki, reeking with sulfur and boiling up from a crevice of the earth. Per quelacus altos et olentia sulfure fertur stagna palicorum rupta ferquentia terra, and where the Bacchide, a race sprung from Corinth between two seas, had built a city between two harbors of unequal size. Et qua Bacchiade Bimari gens orta corinto, inter inequa 
quale posuerunt moenia portus. There is between Cyane and Piscean Arethusa a bay of the sea, its waters confined by narrowing points of land. Et medium Cyanes et Pisaei Arethusae, quod coit Augustis inclusum cornibus aequo. Here was Cyane, the most famous of the Sicilian nymphs, from whose name the pool itself was called. Hic fuit acuis stagnum quoque nomine dictum est, inter sicelidas Cyane celeberima nymphas. She stood forth from the midst of her pool as far as her waist, and recognizing the goddess, cried to Dis, Gurgite qua medio summa tenus extitit alvo ad gnovitque deam. No further shall you go. Ne quilongias ibitis. Thou canst not be the son-in-law of Ceres against her will. Non potes in vites seris generesa. The maiden should have been wooed, not ravished. Roganda non rapienda fuit. But if it is proper for me to compare small things with great, I also have been wooed by Anapis, and I wedded him too, yielding to prayer, however not to fear, like this maiden. Quod si componere magnis parva mihi fas est, et ni delexit Anapis, exorata tamen, nec utaic exterita nupsi. She spoke, and stretching her arms on either side, blocked his way. Dixit et in partes diversas brachia tendens obstitit. No longer could the son of Saturn hold his wrath, and urging on his terrible steeds, he whirled his royal scepter with strong right arm, and smote the pool to its bottom. Aud ultra tenuit Saturnius iram terebelisque, ortatas equos in gurgitis imma contortum valido sepferam regale lacerto conditit. The smitten earth opened up a road to Tartarus and received the down-plunging chariots in her cavernous depths. Icta viam telus in Tartara fecit et pronos curus medio cratere recepit. But Cyane, grieving for the rape of the goddess and for her fountain's rites thus set at naught, nursed an incurable wound in her silent heart and dissolved all away in tears. At Cyane raptamque deam contemptaque fontis iura sui maerens, inconsolabile vulnus mente gerit tacita lacrimisque absum itur omnis et. And into those very waters was she melted whose great divinity she had been but now. Quarum fuerat magnum modo numen, in illes extenuatur aquas. You might see her limbs softening, her bones becoming flexible, her nails losing their hardness. Moliri membra videres, osa pati flexus unges posuisse rigorem. And first of all melt the slenderest parts, her dark hair, her fingers, and feet. Primaque de tota tenuissima quaeque liquescunt, caerule crines digitique et crura pedesque. Her dark hair, her fingers, 
his legs and feet, for it is no great change from slender limbs to cool water. Nam brevis in gelidas membris exilibus undas transitus est. Next, after these, her shoulders, back, sides, and breasts vanish into thin, watery streams. Post aic umere tergusque latusque pectoraque in tenues ebuent ewanila rivos. And finally, in place of living blood, clear water flows through her weakened veins and nothing is left that you can touch. Denique pro vivo vitiata sanguine venas limfa subit, restatque nihil quot prendere possis. Meanwhile, all in vain, the affrighted mother seeks her daughter in every land, on every deep. In terea pavide ne quiquam filia matre omnibus est teris. Omni quaesita profundo. Not Aurora rising with dewy tresses, not Hesperus sees her pausing on the search. Ilam non udis veniens Aurora capilis, que santem vidit, non Hesperus. She kindles two pine torches in the fires of Edna, and wanders without rest through the frosty shades of night. Illa duabus flammiferas pinus manibus sucendit ab etna perque pruinosas tulit in requieta tenebras. Again, when the genial day had dimmed the stars, she was still seeking her daughter from the setting to the rising of the sun. Rursus ubi alma dies ebetarat sidera. Natam solis ab ocasus solis, quaerebat ad ortus. Faint with toil and a thirst, she had moistened her lips in no fountain, when she chanced to see a hut thatched with straw, and knocked at its lowly door. Fessa labore sitim conceperat, oraque nulli connuluerent fontes. Cum tectam stramine vidit forte casam parvasque fores pulsavit. Then out came an old woman and beheld the goddess, and when she asked for water, gave her a sweet drink with parched barley floating upon it. At inde prodit anus divamque vidit limfamque roganti dulce devit. Tosta quod texerat ante polenta. While she drank, a coarse, saucy boy stood watching her, and mocked her, and called her greedy. Tum bebit iladatum, dure puer oris et audax constitit ante deam risitque apidamque vocabit. She was offended and threw what she had not yet drunk with the barley grains full in his face. Ofensa est neque ad hoc e pota parte loquentem cum liquido mixta percudat diva polenta. Straight away his face was spotted, his arms were changed to legs and a tail was added to his transformed limbs. Conbibit os maculas et, quae modo brachia gesit, crura geret, cauda est mutatis adita membris. He shrank to a tiny size, that he might have no great power to harm, and became in form a lizard, though yet smaller in size, inque brevem formam. Nesit vis magna nocendi, contrahitur parvaque minor mensura lacerta est. The old woman wondered and wept, and reached out to touch the marvelous thing, but he fled from her and sought a hiding place. 
mirantam flentemque et tangere monsta parentem, fugit anum latebramque petit atumque. He has a name suited to his offense, since his body is starred with bright colored spots. Pudore nomen abet varis stellatas corpora gutis. Over what lands and what seas the goddess wandered, it would take long to tell. Quas dea perteras et quas eraveret undas, dicere longa mora est. When there was no more a place to search in, she came back to Sicily, and in the course of her wanderings, here she came to Sayane. Qua erenti de fuit orbis, Sicaniam repetit, dumque omnia lustrat eundo, venit ad Cayanen. If the nymph had not been changed to water, she would have told her all. Ea ni mutata fuisit, omnia narasit. But though she wished to tell, she had neither lips nor tongue, nor aught wherewith to speak. Sed et os et lingua volenti dicere non aderant, nec quo loqueretur abebat. But still she gave clear evidence, and showed on the surface of her pool what the mother knew well. Signatamen manifesta dedit notamque parenti, Persephone's girdle which had chanced to fall upon the sacred waters. Ilo forte loco de lapsam in gurgite sacro, Persephone's zonam sumis ostendit in undis. As soon as she knew this, just as if she had then for the first time learned that her daughter had been stolen, the goddess tore her unkempt locks and smote her breast again and again with her hands. Quam simul ad novit, tam quam tum de nique raptam scisset, in ornatos laniavit, diva capillus et repetita suis percusit pectora palmis. She did not know as yet where her child was. Still, she reproached all lands, calling them ungrateful and unworthy of the gift of corn. Nescit aduc ubisit, terras tamen increpat omnes, ingratasque vocat nec frugam munere dignas, trinacriam ante alias, in qua vestigia damni reperit. But Sicily, above all other lands where she had found traces of her loss. So there, with angry hand, she broke in pieces the plows that turned the gleb. Ergo ilic saewa, verdentia glaebas fregit aratra manu. And in her rage she gave to destruction farmers and cattle alike, and bade the ploughed fields to betray their trust, and blighted the seed. Padique irata colonos, ruricolasque boves, leto dedit arvaque iusit valere depositum vitiaque semina pegit. The fertility of this land, famous throughout the world, lay false to its good name. Fertilitas terre latum vulgata per orbum, falsa iacet. The crops died in early blade, now too much heat, now too much rain destroying them. Primis segetis moriuntur in erbis, et modo sol nimius, nimius modo corribit imber. Stars and winds were baleful, and greedy birds ate up the seed as soon as it was sown. Sideraque ventique nocen, avidaeque volucres semina i acta legums. Tares and thorns and stubborn grasses choke the wheat. Lolium tribulique fatigant triticeas meses 
et inexpunagabile gramen. Then did Arethusa, Alpheus' daughter, lift her head from her alien pool, and brushing her dripping locks back from her brows, thus addressed the goddess, Tum caput eleis, Alpheus extulat undis, Rorantesque comas affronte remuit, ad ores atque ait. O thou mother of the maiden, sought through all the earth, thou mother of fruits. O toto quaesite virginis orbe et frucum genetrix. Cease now thy boundless toils, and do not be so grievously wroth with the land which has been true to thee. Immensos siste labores newe tibe pide violenta irascere terre. The land is innocent. Against its will it opened to the robbery. Terra nihil meruit patuitque in vita rapine. It is not for my own country that I pray, for I came a stranger hither. Nec sum pro patria supplex, huc hospita veni. Pisa is my native land, and from Elis I have sprung. I dwell in Sicily a foreigner. Pisa mihi patria est et ab elide ducimas ortus. Sicaniam peregrina colo, sed gratior omni aec mihi terra solo est. But I love this country more than all. This is now my home. Here is my dwelling place. Os nunc arethusa penates, anc abeo sedam. And now I pray thee, save it, O most merciful. Quam tu mitissima serva. Why I moved from my place, and why I came to Sicily, through such wastes of sea, a fitting time will come to tell thee, when thou shalt be free of care, and of a more cheerful countenance. Mota loco cursim tantique per e quoris undas ad vehar ortigiam, veniat narratibus ora tempestiva meis, cum tu coraque levata et ultus melioris eris. The solid earth opened a way before me, and passing through the lowest depths, here I lifted my head again and beheld the stars that had grown unfamiliar. Mihi pervia telus praebat iter, sub terque imas ablata cavernas ic caput atulo de suetaque silera kerno. Therefore, while I was gliding beneath the earth in my Stygian stream, I saw Prosperina there with these very eyes. Ergotum stigio sub teres gurgite labor, visa tua est oculas ilec Prosperina nostris. She seemed sad indeed, and her face was still perturbed with fear, but yet she was a queen, a great queen of that world of darkness, the mighty consort of the tyrant of the underworld. Ila quidem tristis, neque adhuc interita vultu, sed regina tamen, sed opaci maxima mundi, sed tamen inferne polens matrona tyranni. The mother, upon hearing these words, stood as if turned to stone and was for a long time like one bereft of reason. Mater ad auditas stupuit que usaxea voces atonitaeque diosimilis fuit. But when her overwhelming frenzy had given way to overwhelming pain, 
she set forth in her chariot to the realms of heaven. Utque dolore pulsa grawi grawis est amenthia, curibus oras exit in etherias. There, with clouded countenance, with disheveled hair and full of indignation, she appeared before Jove and said, Ibitoto nubila vultu ante iovem passis stetit in vidiosa capilis. I have come, O Jupiter, as suppliant in behalf of my child and your own. Pro que meo veni suplex tibi iubetur, in quit sanguine pro que tuo. If you have no regard for the mother, at least let the daughter touch her father's heart. Si nulla est gratia matris, nata patrem moveat, neo sit tibi cura precamur vilior illus, quod nostro est edita partu. And let not your care for her be less, because I am her mother. See, my daughter sought so long, has at last been found, if you call it finding, more certainly to lose her, or if you call it finding, merely to know where she is. In quaesita dio tandem hinata reperta est, si reperire vocas amitere certius, aut si scire ubisit reperiri vocas. That she has been stolen I will bear, if only he will bring her back. Quod rapta feremus, du modo redat eam. For your daughter does not deserve to have a robber for a husband, if now she is not mine. Neque enim predone marito filia digna tua est, si iam mea filia non est. And Jove replied, She is indeed our daughter, yours and mine, our common pledge and care. Iupitur excepit, commune est pignus onusque nata mihi tecum. But if only we are willing to give right names to things, this is no harm that has been done, but only love. Sed si modo nomino rebus adere vera placet, non hoc iniuria factum verum amor est. Nor will he shame us for a son-in-law, do you but consent goddess. Neque erit nobis gener ille pudore, tu modo diva velis. Though all else be lacking, how great a thing it is to be Jove's brother. Ut desint catera, quantum est esse iovas fratrem. But what that other things are not lacking, and that he does not yield place to me, save only by the lot. Quid quod nec cetera desunt, nec cedit misi sorti mihi. But if you so greatly desire to separate them, Proserpina shall return to heaven, but on one condition only. Sed tanta cupido si tibi discidii est, repetet prosperina caelum, Legetamen certa. If in the lower world no food has as yet touched her lips, for so have the fates decreed. Legetamen certa. Si nullus contigit illic orecibos, nam sic par carum foedere cautum est. He spoke. But Ceres was resolved to have her daughter back. Dixerat, at cereri certum est educere natam. Not so the fates, for the girl had already broken her fast. 
non ita fata sinunt, quaniam ieunia virgos sol verat et. And while, simple child that she was, she wandered in the trim gardens, she had plucked a purple pomegranate hanging from a bending bough. Cultis dum simplex erat in hortis, puniceum curva de cerps erat arbore pomum sum taque palente septum, and peeling off the yellowish rind she had eaten seven of the seeds. Di cortice grana preserat ore suo. The only one who saw the act was Ascalaphus, whom Orphne, not the least famous of the Avernal nymphs, is said to have borne to her own Acheron within the dark groves of the lower world. Solusque et omnibus illud Ascalaphus with it, quem quandam dicitur Orphne, inter avernales aud ignotissima nymphas, ex acheronte suo silves peperise sub atris. The boy saw, and by his cruel tattling, thwarted the girl's return to earth. Vidit et indicio reditum crudelis ademit. Then was the queen of Erebus enraged, and changed the informer into an ill-omened bird. Ingemuit regina erebit testemque profanam fecit avem sparsumque caput, throwing in his face a handful of water from the phlegaton. She gave him a beak and feathers and big eyes. Sparsumque caput phlegaton tidi, lympha in rostrum et plumas, et grandia lumina vertit. Robbed of himself, he is now clothed in yellow wings. He grows a head in long crooked claws. Ile sibe ablatus fulvis amicitur in alis, inque caput crescit longosque reflectitur unges, vixque movet natas per inertia brachia penes, foedaque fit volupris. But he scarce moves the feathers that sprout all over his sluggish arms. He has become a loathsome bird, prophet of woe, the slothful screech owl, a bird of evil omen to men. Venturi nun dialuctus, ignavus bubu, dirum mortalibus omen. He indeed can seem to have merited his punishment because of his tattling tongue. Hic tamen indicio poenam linguaque videri comervisi potest. But, daughters of Achelios, why have you the feathers and feet of birds, though you still have maiden's features? Wobis Achelois, unde pluma pedesque avium, Cum virginis aura geratis. Is it because when Proserpina was gathering the spring flowers, you were among the number of her companions, ye sirens skilled in song? Anquia cum legerat vernos Prosperina flores, in comitum numero, docte sirenis erratis, after you had sought in vain for her through all the lands, that the sea also might know your search, you prayed that you might float on beating wings above the waves. Quam post quam toto frustra quaesistis in orbe, Protinus et vestram sentirent ec 
aliquora curam, posse super fluctus alarum insistere remis optastis facilesque deos abuistis et artos vidistis vestros subitis flawescere penis. You found the gods ready, and suddenly you saw your limbs covered with golden plumage. But that you might not lose your tuneful voices, so soothing to the ear, and that rich dower of song, maiden features and human voice remained. Netamen ilicanor murkendas natus ad ores, tantaque dos oris linguae de perderet usum. Virgine vultus et vox humana remancit. But now Joe, holding the balance between his brother and his grieving sister, divides the revolving year into two equal parts. At medius fratrisque sui maestaeque sororis iubitur ex equo volventim dividit anum. Now the goddess, the common divinity of two realms, spends half the months with her mother and with her husband half. Nunc dea regnorum numen commune duorum, cum matre est totidem, totidem cum coniuge menses. Straight away the bearing of her heart and face is changed. Vertitur ex templo facies et mentis et auris. For she, who but lately even to dis seemed sad, now wears joyful countenance, like the sun, which long concealed behind dark and misty clouds, disperses the clouds and reveals his face. Laeta Dei frons est, ut sol quitectus aquosis nubibus antefuit, victis e nubibus exit.